that time of year again where I go through everything that I didn't wear this year and I donate and possibly also keep things that I know I'm not going to wear for another year and it clutters up my closet but I make room for possibly new clothing. I'm getting into sewing a lot more so I'm hoping that I'm just going to sew a lot more rather than buying clothing. I've got clothing that I didn't wear at all this year that I kept last year thinking that I would wear it and I have a rule if I don't wear it throughout the year I have to donate it. Let's do that. The way I like to do it is I go through each color because my my wardrobe is color coordinated. I also have shoes that I'm so ready to donate because I haven't worn them. I've got trainers that I have not worn in so long. There are some people out there that would much prefer them than myself. Any whoosies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi I'm Megan. I make videos every Friday and today we are decluttering my closet. Keep my blacks at the back so I don't reach for them as much. I wear a lot of black and black tends to be my safe color. I'm trying not to do that as much. So my black clothing goes at the back. Because they're at the back, they're the hardest to reach. So we're gonna have three piles. Clothing that I wanna keep, clothing that I wanna donate, clothing that I'm unsure about, that I'm probably gonna keep for another year. Starting with this top. I don't think I've worn this in like four years, maybe longer. I don't like leopard print. This is leopard print. I The spotlight is doing a lot right now for it. So I'm hoping you'll be able to see that. It is leopard printy. I thought it was kisses. I thought it was like lip kisses, which would have made it a whole lot better. This is what the top looks like. It doesn't look awful. And now I actually distinctly remember taking this top up. It was very long. Now I wish I had kept it long. It being short isn't like the worst thing in the world. It's very crop toppy. It's quite... I think the whole idea that I wanted for this top was to have it short, to be able to wear it with this one particular pair of jeans. I see where I was going with this. I don't like it. It doesn't suit me anymore. Maybe when I was in my teens, this would have been a great look, but it really doesn't suit me. By the end of filming, I will have a decision on this top. I'm making that a promise to myself because if I don't say that now, I will end up keeping it for a year and never wearing it. Okay, so I have another one of these tops. I actually took this top in and I took it up. It has been altered quite a bit. I don't mind this top as much. I think with a different outfit, with different jeans, this may look better. I think it's the bra. I think there is an, I don't like the bra situation, but I have a bra that could go nicely with this. I'm gonna make a decision on this one. This is gonna go in the maybe part. I bought this this year. And I'm absolutely in love with it. I think it is so cute, so sexy, so, so me. Throughout the year, I have figured out what my style is. I really enjoy wearing preppy type clothing, type aesthetic. I don't know why they call it this, but um, old money vibes, old money style. That is my aesthetic. I enjoy, I enjoy looking like Blair Waldorf. That is how I, I dress. Definitely thinking, because New Year's hasn't happened yet, this is probably going to be my New Year's outfit. Can you hear me from there? Maybe pile is on the couch. Get rid of pile is in this bag. Staying pile is on the on the bed. All right, the black coat clothing was kind of easy to go through. I go through my maybe pile so we can narrow it down to things that I want to keep, things that, are, that I'm unsure about. Again, we've got this glittery, sparkly top with the stars on it that is meshy. I'm going to keep it for one more year. If next year I pull this out and I'm, I haven't worn it this year, I'm getting rid of it. Next is this. <laughs> this is not a top. This is a piece of fabric that doesn't cover very much. But I only got this this year and I think I got it around about October time. So I haven't had a chance to wear it and I think it would look good for the summer, maybe. It's not the type of top you can just wear anywhere. It's the type of top that you would have to wear to the beach, New Year's Eve <laughs> or holiday, holiday, yes, holiday. Somewhere where it would, it would be appropriate. So I'm gonna keep it because it's still cute. This top, you are my sun, my moon, and all my stars. I still kind of love this top, but it is very, it's very teenager. But I did actually wear it this year, I think. I'm gonna keep it for another year. This I also got this year. This was just one of those wrap tops, but I believe it is a medium, and a medium doesn't quite fit me, so it's getting donated. This is the matching top to a skirt that I bought. It's a tennis top. These type of tank top tops, really don't suit me. 
See, now personally, I don't feel cute in this. I personally don't like the no arms situation. It's summer on your arms and winter on your torso, you know, from Cloudy with the Chance of Nipples. I quote that ever I see these types of tops. I'm getting rid of this. Let's move on to gray items. Starting off, I've got two gym tops that I, I don't wear. This one out of out of both of them is probably my favorite. It's quite flattering. The other thing is I can wear this in general, whereas the other one looks like a proper gym top. This is sort of, it's a little bit big for me. I would have preferred it a little bit tighter. This one has thumb holes. Maybe if it was tighter, it would look better, but it's just very, so I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. This used to be a staple jumper in my, in my day. I think I'm gonna keep this one. And these two items are a no brainer. I'm keeping both. I wore this multiple times this year and I recently got this in a charity store I I've been loving it you know that jumper dress the jumper dress from H&M which has been going viral and stuff like that I went and looked for that particular jump dress jumper every single dress that I looked at was too long for me I'm short I'm four foot ten so I need something that is a little bit shorter for me I found this jumper for two pounds it has done me wonders these are a staple they aren't going anywhere I got this this beaded top, which I love. Where the hell do you wear it? I wore it once this year when I was on holiday in Croatia on the beach because really that's the only place to wear it. I refuse to get rid of that because it's adorable. I will find a way. So this was another one of my random sewing projects that I needed to fix because I hated the way it was. And I've just... It's one of those wraparound tops with the crazy long sleeves that you dare cook with because you'll catch on fire. I cropped this top because it had one of those flared bottoms. I still really like this top. It's great for summer. It personally feel that it's not my style anymore. So this is going in a maybe pile. Two more tops that are very, very see-through. I don't know about this one. It says Le love, love more, worry less on this one. And then this is just a basic white t-shirt. I don't know if I want to keep this one. It's, I don't like things with logos on them. Or not, not logos, but writing. And how many white, ba basic white t-shirts do I really need? Lit. It's, it's something. I think this is a, it's a maybe. Then there is this top. On camera, it doesn't look great. But in the mirror, it looks fine. Like I said, it kind of needs a little bit of taking up. Just a little bit. Not too much, just, you know. So it doesn't wrinkle at the bottom, but overall, it's still a great top. Possibly find something else to wear underneath it. I'm, if I don't wear it again within the year, it's going in the donate pile. I didn't take my jeans off. This dress is weird. I like it, but then at the same time, it's, I don't know if it's too, I don't know, gimmicky. I think the pattern is what's throwing me. If it was like black or white or just like a plain color, I think I would like it a lot more, but because it's this dragon, it's throwing me. I love it. I think that the the design is very pretty. The fabric is very pretty, but it's throwing me. I'm gonna give it a year and see how I feel. I got this top. I only got it a few months ago, so I think I'm gonna keep it in. Oh my gosh, I love this top. It's got Angelica's doll on it. Keep that. Don't know how I feel about it. That in the sew pile. We now have a sew pile. I wore this once recently and I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know if I still like it or if I should get rid of it. We'll try it on and see. I think with the right jeans, this would look fine, or with the right outfit, this would look fine. So I think I'm gonna keep it for another year, and if I don't wear it throughout that year, or if I only wear it once, it's going. This is new. I don't know how I feel about this. I kind of just love this part. I don't love the bottoms. So a big part of me wants to cut the bottoms off and just keep the top. But it has pockets, like very deep pockets. Yeah, I don't know, I really love this like corset type top. I could easily cut this off and turn it into a corset, like easily. I could put grommets at the back, a ribbon, or I could even just put a zip. Keep it this way or cut it and turn it into just a top. How do we feel? Keeping both my long dresses for one day when I have a wedding to attend. I'm unsure about this top. I've had it for a while. It's nice. It goes with a few things. I wore it on my first date in the maybe pile. Okay, I take it back. I still like the red one. I got this this year, which I wore once I think I created the, the tightening. It used to be long. It used to just be look like a normal top, but I created the the ruching. I think that's what you call it. I just don't think it's me. It's going in the maybe pile. I tried to like this top and I just can't. It's going in the donate pile. This is my dad's jacket. This is vintage. I'm not getting rid of this. This is beautiful. It's so heavy. It's such great quality. It was made in the 80s. This butterfly top 
It gives me Bratz vibes, like a Bratz doll would wear this. The only thing that I cannot stand about this top is this triangle effect. It really accentuates this part of my body, which I don't like. Keep pile, but if I don't wear it for, for a year, it goes. I thought I wasn't gonna like this this year, but actually it's doing something for me. I just need to find the right outfit for it. Staying, that's not a, that's not a vibe. <laughs> this top actually came with a skirt. It was for my Halloween costume. It's so flesh colored that I know. When you see people with flesh colored tights or skirts or whatever, you double take that shit. I might keep it for the sake of wearing it if we go to the beach. I don't hate it. Maybe if it was just a bit tighter, I don't hate it. So I'm gonna keep it. This pink one comes in handy, but it is very see-through. And then I don't know about this one. I don't know if I love it still. I'm gonna put both of these on a, the maybe pile. Shoes should be easy because I kind of already know what shoes I want and what shoes I don't. Trainers. I've had these for since 2015. I have not worn them since I left dancing in 2016. It's time. Again, I'm getting rid of them. I'm never gonna wear them. I'm not really sure why I hold on to Converse. I don't really like Converse. I don't really wear them. They're not my favorite shoes in the world. I find them exceptionally uncomfortable, but I think what I'll do is I'll keep one pair. Maybe at some point I will wear Converse again, but I'll keep the one pair. They actually need washing. I think I'm gonna put them in the wash. So we have a wash pile now. Okay, now that I've made space, this one space, just move my flats. I didn't want shoes on the ground. I've had this pair of gold strappy gladiator type heels on the floor for ages. So now they finally have a space. My ballet slippers can also go on the top. I think that's all the shoes that I want to get rid of. Well, that was easy. But we also need to go through my drawers. These are all my skirts, shorts, jeans, and pants, but I do want to narrow down the piles. This pink skirt, it's going in the maybe pile. These shorts come with a matching blazer. Never really worn the whole thing together. The shorts look nice on their own. Wearing it with the blazer, it looks too much like a pantsuit, and I think it would look better if these were like actual pants, not shorts. But because I have the matching blazer, I can't get rid of it. Denim skirt, I haven't had a chance to wear it because it's a bit winter. Look at the size of these pockets. A note to all clothing brands that make female clothing. If the pocket is not this deep where my phone can go into it and I can still fit my whole hand and my purse, I don't want it. I bought this. I like it, but I don't know if I love it. If I don't wear it this summer, I'm getting rid of it. I don't know how I feel about these. I've had them for so long. I think I've worn them twice. Okay, I was right. There was a reason I didn't want to keep these and just seeing them on has made me change my mind. They are going in the donate pile. They're not me. So they're gonna go in the donate pile. Jumpers, I have a lot of jumpers. This is my university jumper. So this is great for working out. It just says, be kind. It's cool to be kind. I cropped this and then I got bleach on it. So there's that. It's nice to just walk around in. So I might just keep that just, I might put it in my pajama drawer. This pink number which I'm thinking I might just put in the actual cupboard because it's like a jumper slash top. I don't wear it. I don't, I don't do anything with it. So I'm considering donating it because I think it would be better off with somebody else. Block color jumper, but that stays. This I've had for years. The jumper is very unflattering. I wish it was just, you know, a little bit tighter. It's kind of giving TV static. It's time to live and let go.
this part of the closet looks pretty neat. I love that there's nothing on the floor. Somehow I've gotten rid of clothing, yet my closet still looks really full. Here is the maybe pile that I still need to go through. All right, friends, ignore the way I look. I just had a shower because I'm going out. I've narrowed down the maybe pile. We've only got about four items here. One skirt and three tops. It's pretty good. Look at my donate pile. That's my washing. But this is my donate pile and it goes all the way into the bag. I think I've done a very good job of narrowing things down. It's taking me forever to film this video. It was sunny outside and then next minute I knew it was dark. Thanks guys for sticking around and helping me organize my closet. We'll probably do it again next year but uh, have a lovely day and I shall see you in the next one.